Hey guys, I'm Rival, and here today I get to show you guys around the My Faction game mode here in WWE 2K24. Now, My Faction is what I do on my YouTube channel, Rival is Ringside. Make sure to check that channel out. And because it's what I do, 2K decided to partner up with me for this video, and they're actually gonna allow me to show you guys around the new updated My Faction game mode. And guys, if you enjoy the video, if you learned something today, if you're just as excited as I am for the new updated My Faction here in WWE 2K24, make sure to smash that thumbs up, smash that like button, and drop a comment below. Let us know what you're most excited about. So what is My Faction? My Faction is a card collecting game mode. You can use these cards to complete challenges. We click inside of challenges. There are daily challenges, intro challenges, and lifetime challenges. So every time you're on, kind of peek in here, see what you can do, see what you can grind towards. And inside of here, you will earn tokens and my faction points. And not only that, we do have a variety of different game modes to play through in my faction. We have live events, we have faction wars, we have proven grounds, weekly towers, ranked play, and quick play. And you do want to try and play through all of these game modes. The more cards you collect, the better. There is a collector's level. The more cards you collect, the more you keep leveling up. And as you level up, you earn my faction points, you earn side plates, you earn superstar cards, you earn cosmetics. A lot of good stuff can be earned inside of here. As of right now, when I'm making the video, it does go up to a level 26, collect 1,080 cards. Once you get there, you get a 97 overall pink diamond Charlotte Flair. All right, all right. So at the top of the screen, we have live, play, multiplay, headquarters, and store. I do want to start you off with the store because we have three different forms of currency. So I just want to, you know, right off the bat, let's get to it. What can we spend this currency on and how do we obtain it? So the first form of currency, my faction points, also known as MFP. This can be spent on cards and packs. These can be earned by completing matches and challenges. We then have My Faction Tokens. These can be spent in the token reward market to unlock powerful WWE superstars and legends. The third form of currency in My Faction, Virtual Currency. We have VC here in My Faction. This is available for purchase and spent exclusively in My Faction on cards, packs, and boxes. And just an FYI, anything that you can buy with VC, with the virtual currency, you also have the option to purchase it with MFP, my faction point. So don't think you have to purchase the VC to get something. Everything will be available with that MFP. Now, I just showed you a little clip of the card market a second ago, but I'm going to click back in here because this is new in my faction this year, and it's a huge addition in my opinion. If there is a card you really need or a card you really want, you can go in here and you can purchase it with my faction points or with VC. I will use this as an example. If I really want this collection set reward, Rhea Ripley, I would have to collect every single one of these cards if there is a card I cannot get. Let's say Jay Uso. If I have all of these cards except Jay Uso, I can go in the card market and purchase it. That would then complete my collection and I would be rewarded that Rhea Ripley. And throughout the year, as we get new packs, we will see new collections. So that card market will help you finish these collections. All right, guys. So now that you understand the three different types of currencies in my faction and what you can do with those different forms of currencies, it's time to take you over the headquarters. We have my faction management, evolution cards, my collection, and collector's level. Now, I already showed you collector's level, so we're going to skip that. We're going to go straight to my faction management. So on this screen, you can save up to eight different factions. You can name them whatever you want. You can give them different themes. Me personally, I like making a Rushmore themed faction. That's just something I like to do. We click inside of here up top. You will see lineup. You will see customization and you will see managers. Once you are on this screen, if you do have any questions, you can go ahead, click info. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Xavier Woods, Mr. Austin Creed here to help us out. We're going to go through everything. So to set your lineup, every faction does need a lineup of superstars to take into battle. To set your lineup, choose a slot and select a superstar card to assign it to a slot. Side plates, add side plates to give your superstars a boost to one or more of their attributes. We're going to talk more about that later. Paybacks, each superstar is assigned up to two paybacks and offers them a special ability to shift the match in their favor at the right moment. The big thing here, every card does not have resiliency. That is a big thing to know. 
We take a look at Styles. Some of you guys might know it as a class. Every superstar in my faction has their own style that specializes in specific match actions like using reversals, hitting strikes, landing diving attacks, or grabbing opponents. Style Actions. You earn extra MFP in matches by using your superstar's match actions to make sure to try different attacks to see which ones work best with each style. Attributes and Badges. Badges can give your superstar certain abilities or advantages and can be seen by toggling over from the Attributes page. Let's check them out, he says. There you go. So The Rock, always see it coming. I really do like that badge. That is a level one badge. Ravel Rouser, Sting Like a Bee, that purple, or rather Amethyst, that is a level three. And the badges do go from level one all the way to level four. Level four, that gold one you see on the screen, that is the best badge you can have. So we talked about side plates. How do you equip a side plate? You would go ahead, click on the card, edit side plates. This Ruby the Rock, as any Ruby card would have in this game, has three available slots. So you can apply up to three side plates. For example, Slippery. That would give me a plus eight attribute boost in Grapple Reversal timing for five matches. Fighting Spirit, a plus six pin escape for ten matches. If we take a look at an Emerald card, you would only have two available slots. Sapphire two, Gold two. And again, guys, every card is different, whether it be side plate slots, attributes, badges, paybacks, because not every card has resiliency this year. Cards will be unique in their own way. Slide over to the customization tab. Here you will find the faction nameplate, the faction logo, and the faction wallpaper that you can fully customize. Now, the more you play my faction, the more of these you will unlock. We slide on over to managers. We click inside. Different managers have different styles. For example, Baron Corbin, Aggressive, Bobby the Brain Heenan, Ruthless, and Pharaoh here has Cunning. Because his style is Cunning, I know he works best with High Flyers and especially Technicians. So we go ahead, click on Pharaoh. He is going to give an attribute bonus in the following. Running offense, grapple offense, arm power, and stamina. He's going to give me a plus 8 in all of those. And that plus 8 could go up or down depending on the compatibility. We take a look at The Rock, for example, and this, honestly, it totally makes sense. He's got a bad compatibility. You will not get a plus 8, but you would get a plus 7. I mean, that's, that's still pretty good. It's only a minus 1. We go down to Cody Rhodes, and this is the dog of Cody Rhodes, so this totally makes sense. We have an excellent compatibility, and in that case, you would get a plus 10. For average, you would get a plus 8. So again, that plus 8 or whatever that manager is offering, it could go up or down depending on that compatibility. Also, under the Headquarter tab, we have My Collection. You can find all of the cards here. So new packs that release, that would be found under the Premium tab. We also have a Reward tab here. We have a manager tab here and a customization tab. So the wallpapers, the nameplates, the logos, all under customization. We also have evolution cards. We click on there. Right now, I do have a Blair Davenport and Grayson Waller. I got both of these in a starter pack. You get the starter pack when you start up my faction for the first time. So evolutions. We take a look at the evolution requirements. If you complete all three of these, your card would go up a tier. So these cards in particular, they would go from an emerald up to a sapphire. Also, they would both gain a badge. We now move on to the multiplay tab in which we have quick play and ranked play. Now, ranked play is new this year in my faction. We take a look at these dates and please keep in mind that these dates are only placeholders until the actual start date of the season. Really cool to know that we have different match types coming our way. And right above that, you will notice a leaderboard. Yes, we now have leaderboards and rewards here in my faction for the online gameplay. That is huge. That is huge. It goes all the way up to a Galaxy Opal. So the leaderboard has different tiers to it. You want to work your way up. You see RP on the screen. That stands for ranked points. When you win a match, you gain rank points. And when you lose a match, you lose rank points. Now, as your rank points go up, you do rank up in tier. Every tier does have a different reward tied behind it. And when you rank up, you do get that reward right away however the leaderboard rewards you do have to wait until the end of the season you have to see where you finish and right next to rank play just like last year right we do have quick play there are no rewards tied behind this but maybe you want to try a card out maybe you just want to practice without risking the rank points do quick play now we move on to the play tab underneath the play tab we have weekly towers proving grounds and 
Faction Wars. Now, Faction Wars got a total revamp this year, and I am very excited to show you guys this. We are actually going to be doing a deep dive video because I need more time. <laughs> I need more time. There is so much to talk about, but I'm sure I can show you this. And I can go ahead and show you the Faction War Exchange. Again, we will be doing a deep dive going over all of this. We click inside of Weekly Towers. Every single Monday, we do get a new week. You have to do these in order. You have to start at week one. You cannot jump around. But every single week, you will have to complete five matches. They have different match types, different opponents. Once you complete all five, you get the reward. Now we go ahead and click on Proving Grounds. Now Proving Grounds, I'm gonna go even more into when we do release the deep dive video. But right now, what I can tell you is we have five chapters, you have to go in order. Inside of each chapter, you will have 30 different matches. It's broken up into six different towers here. And inside of each tower, you have five different matches. We also have three challenges per tower. Pay attention to that. If you do these challenges, you can earn more side plates, superstar cards, packs, MFP, and cosmetics. And the last and final thing we need to talk about, live events. We, we looked at the store, we looked at headquarters, multiplay, play. We looked at the challenges here, locker codes. If there's a locker code, that is where you enter it. Let's click inside of live events. Now, live events, there is a time limit on these. So you only have a limited amount of time to get these done. Each one of these will have a requirement. You need this card in order to do this. We'll use this one as an example. For the requirements, you need the Nightmare Family Pack Dusty Rhodes and the Action Figure Cody Rhodes. This will be a two-on-two -two match. Once you win this, you will get the reward of a Mask Oddity. Oddities I can't talk about until the deep dive, but you'll have to stay tuned for the deep dive. Just something to look forward to. Now, because there are requirements, it's probably a good idea. You keep an eye on the upcoming tab. Under the upcoming tab, it's going to tell you which challenges are coming, how many days you have, and it's also going to show you the requirements you need. So it kind of gives you some time to get ready for that. And that is going to do it for the video, guys. I dropped some knowledge on you. I'm going to drop some more in the deep dive, so stay tuned for that. Do me a favor. Smash that thumbs up on this video to put me over. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you're looking forward to in the new My Faction game mode. And make sure to head over to Rival is Ringside. That is my personal YouTube channel. Go over there. Subscribe. I'm playing My Faction all year. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.